So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Harwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. so quiet. Where is everyone? It's a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. dark in here. I can't see anything. I need the key.
don't think I'll be able to get in there. I don't think I'll be able to get I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Take this. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but... It's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, gris Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but... The other way around, that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth, a mother of earth wood and dirt, a mother of a thousand young. Sacred <sighs> that?
Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after. Sunday, June 26th. Hmm, what's this? I need the key. I need the key. I need the key. I need the key. The Great Depression. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Well, of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Tercetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine, I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. You want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. Thank you. Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. What kind of stuff are we looking for? I've never been part of an investigation before. Letters, diaries, receipts, all sorts of notes.
Every night the dark man Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. found this tube as well, should keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? W where did... This can't be.
Is that you? Batiste? How'd you get here? I was back at Dorsetto. Looking for my Uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. <laughs> 